Hey guys, it's Troy again. Wanted to share with you a pen that I just recently got in the mail. And uh, when it showed up, uh, I was kind of intrigued. As a matter of fact, I was intrigued when I saw the advertisement for it. So I figured I'd give it a try for the price. Um, and it was one that I'd looked at prices quite a bit, uh, looked at the ad quite a bit, and finally decided, eh, I'll give it a shot. So it's an OASO, O-A-S-O. Uh, I'm not really familiar with their pens. Obviously, it is an oriental pen. Uh, quite honestly, I'm not even sure what language uh, it is that I'm seeing here on the box, or languages as the case may be. Uh, there was nothing in English other than this right here. And it says, write the future with that name. And that that's it. Just like it says right there, write the future. That's the only English writing that I see on this box anywhere, and quite honestly, on the pen itself or on any literature that's in it. So let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up. And uh, come on, it's tight. <laughs> it was when I first got it in the mail. So there we go. So the cardboard sleeve just comes off, and then you've got this right here. It's just a plastic cover and you've got some instructions that came with it. Not that I can read any of the instructions, but you can see a pictograph right there. So um, I'm really hoping that it works as well as it says it does. As a matter of fact, uh, here is the pen and the ink dispenser. Uh, this little Oasso pen comes with a 50 mil ink dispenser right here, and it's an automatic fill pen. So, you know, it's not like a cartridge converter, it's not like an eyedropper, anything of the sort. As a matter of fact, uh, here is the, the really quick video that came on the advertisement and on their website for it, so you can get an idea of how it's supposed to operate. So, does it actually operate that way? I have no idea. Let's find out here together. So, set that aside. It comes with this little rubber plug here, and there are no instructions in English that tell me what I'm supposed to do with it. It's a demonstrator pen. Um, there, there were two nibs, essentially a fine or an extra fine. I chose the fine over the extra fine, because quite honestly, I don't like fine nibs, period. Um, and this is it. It is a demonstrator pen. It's kind of interesting here where you've got um, this little uh, this little cutout here towards the tail end and you've got this at the bottom. So if you saw the, uh, the little video I'm assuming this comes down inside that uh, ink bottle. You've got a pl clear plastic clip. It's a very cheap clip here so don't expect a whole lot of, out of it. It's uh, not a very hefty or strong plastic whatsoever that could easily break that and I don't really want to. It is a slip cap uh, and here you've got uh, a nib similar uh, to like a Lamy Safari uh, although that's a triangular grip this here is pretty much uh, a triangular grip as well uh, with a Lamy style nib on it and it does come apart like that if you wanted to and it does break a seal there um, quite honestly, this is what I see. And there's a little rubber stop. That, okay, that is the rubber stopper right there. So I'm assuming that's a replacement stopper for it. I don't know. Um, that's the first time I've taken that apart. Didn't want to do that until I actually started uh, recording this. So you've got that little seal over it. And again, with a slip cap. So, this kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, the movie Wally and uh, Eva. <laughs> Eva! Wally! Uh, one of the best animated movies uh, probably ever, Wally. Uh, but, uh, so you've got this little bottle, and these are just, I don't know what the deal is with these little arms, these little fins. They don't really do anything that I can tell. You got the top that does come up like, come off like this. You could buy some replacement inks. Um, my understanding is uh, there is a way to refill this with um, some kind of 
uh, accordion looking thing to go in there. But does it fill like it said uh, or showed in that video? Well, let's go ahead and find out. This is the first time I'm trying it. So let's go ahead and put her down in. And is any ink at all coming in? Well, I do see some ink there. Looks like we got a little, possibly a little bit of ink in there. Well, let's try it some more. Alright, I'm really getting nothing. So, nothing really to speak of. And I don't know what to say about that. It looks like the, you know, that little rubber stopper goes down and... And I'm pressing down. And uh, you squeeze it. Uh, oh, uh, uh, um, let me see. Hmm. Okay, I squeezed the side and some ink came up. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, okay, okay. So this kind of... So I, I don't know. If this like is, is a pump here on the sides where you squeeze. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that. Let me tilt it to the side here. So I don't have a really good angle otherwise. I do this and ink comes out. I let go and I squeeze a little bit here and ink actually was starting to fill in there and the ink just came back out so what in the world so let's pull the sucker back out put her back in because the instructions weren't very clear as to what to do and how to do it basically it really just showed you, you uh, I mean, do we put it forward? Do we pour it forward a little bit? Okay, a little drop came out. But now what? Um, the instructions just kind of show putting it down in. Just And basically, all it shows is two hands on the pen. Down in fill and pull out so let's do that two hands in push down and I don't have any ink coming out nothing but I turn it to the side like that and suddenly it fills and now it's continuing to fill that was a little bizarre All right, I think I got a full fill. <laughs> Interesting. Not exactly like the video presented though, was it? Hmm, so it did show like that. Nope, no, nothing coming out of the end. So that's a good sign. All right, so let's go ahead and put this aside. Let's go ahead and cap it. I'll put this away and then we'll see how it writes. Obviously, there's a little bit of a learning curve uh, when you're dealing with it. So, um, but I got to play with it. So my OASO, if you look at the top, it actually has the OASO right there on the cap, the, um, or in the finial there, and, and that finial is angled down. Sort of like a Waterman hemisphere, but actually on the down to the side as opposed to angling down towards the clip, uh, that kind of thing. So you've got some ribbing here, but that's all decorative. Uh, and that is inside, actually looks like a seal inside of that clear plastic cap. All right, so as you can see, I finally got a, um, a, a full ink uh, fill. 
I turned it to the side just a little bit and it started to finally suck up. So I don't know if it took some priming to get that in, but like I said, learning curve. So this is the first time I'm going to put this nib to paper. Let's see how it does. So the O-A-S-O, -O, I'm assuming it's Oasso. I really don't know. Uh, so this is the uh, auto fill uh, pen with the uh, auto ink dispenser. I gotta tell you, th this nib actually does really, really well. It does a lot better than I thought it would. It's actually a fairly smooth nib. I, I was expecting it to be a lot scratchier. This is a fine nib. I'm not much on fine nibs, as a matter of fact. We'll take a look here, see if I can get you a good shot of that. You can see it says F right there on that Lamy style nib. So it is a fine. And like I said, I generally don't like fine nibs. And this one is one of the smoother fine nibs that I've had. Um, and uh, I was a little bit surprised. Now, you can get this pen itself for like $11, $12, or something like that. Um, and you can get the uh, the whole package that I just had here in, in the 20s for the ad that I had seen. Let's go ahead and post this baby. Yeah, as you would expect, that should post fairly well, and it's not back-weighted, although you can feel it just a little bit. Let me turn that, because that clip will be a little annoying the way it was. Um, it's not too terribly back-weighted, so it does post, and you can do that if you want. Um, but it, and it definitely adds some length to that pen. That's, but taking it off, it's still long enough to be able to write fairly comfortably without posting that pen. So I would actually feel comfortable with not even using the posting. If you're familiar with, um, you know, like a Jinhao um, 599 or maybe like uh, the Lamy Safari, then you're pretty familiar with this triangular style grip. If you don't like the triangular style grip, you're not going to like this, but it actually works fairly well. I really don't know what kind of ink is in this thing. All I know is it's black ink. And as I recall, you could pick black or blue. Um, and you could actually order multiple bottles of ink, multiple pens along with it. Um, I just decided to get the one bottle in the one pen. Just because, you know, I, this is my first time. Uh, knowing what I know now, I actually might have purchased two. Uh, but obviously the learning curve, I, I didn't like how long it took to learn how to fill it and obviously with no instructions that were legible to me uh, that kind of uh, led to a little bit of a learning curve there but surprisingly so far there you go it's a very rigid nib but fairly smooth for a fine nib okay new to me Never seen it before until I saw it on an ad on like Facebook or Instagram, something like that. And now, uh, obviously, since I clicked on that link, it keeps popping up and popping up. And I also saved um, a link to their website, and I'll try to post that in the video description in case it interests you whatsoever. So, the Oasa, O-A-S-O, -O, Oaso uh, fountain pen, the automatic fill from, you know, the uh, the little Eva from Wally bottle, as, as I call it. So there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, who figured? Who knew, you know? I thought it was kind of a neat little novelty, um, and uh, pleasantly surprised with how well the pen wrote. I expected very little out of it, um, and it was halfway decent. And it's got a good full fill, so that's going to last for a while. Hey, it's Troy here. I want to take a real quick minute to do a couple of things. Number one is to thank you. Thank you for watching my channel and my videos and helping the channel to grow. And speaking of helping it grow, I would greatly appreciate if you would just hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, that'll help me to keep content coming to you here on YouTube. Also, if you want to help this channel continue to thrive and get the word out, I have some t-shirts, fountainpenfanatic.com, which is a URL to this channel, t-shirts available for you at about the lowest price that I can possibly charge for them with the manufacturer that I'm using. That'll get you a great quality t-shirt and will help get the word out about this particular channel. And also, discount codes. Look in the video description all the time for every video for a discount code uh, to go purchase pens at a marked 
discount for you simply for being a viewer and subscriber to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the kind words and the feedback that I get.